And we're talking about federal taxpayer funding that was earmarked to help businesses recover from the COVID pandemic. For nearly six months, we've been trying to find out exactly what Revive did with that money and who benefited from it. Revive Alaska Community Services was awarded a $750,000 ARPA grant from the city of Anchorage in December of 2021. ARPA stands for the American Rescue Plan Act, which is a federal COVID relief program. And we are requesting funding for repair, expansion, and upgrade of the food pantry. Revive's president, Prince Wonkadu, told assembly members the grant would go towards repairing this barn in South Anchorage, which the nonprofit was using as a makeshift food pantry. But when Revive received the money, it tore down the barn, saying it was beyond repair, and used part of the funds to purchase this church in Midtown instead. This place is under mortgage. We put down a hundred and something thousand. It is less than 750000 Without assembly members' approval, someone in the mayor's administration added language in Revive's grant contract, allowing them to relocate. Alaska's news source began investigating this last November. We have church every Sunday. That's also when we interviewed Wonkadu at his new church. Our budget, our finances are open. We, we do 990 every year. We did 990 last year. Anybody can go and look at our 990. We got the money last year. But since then, Revive has declined to provide us with any financial documents showing how that $750,000 was spent. They also won't show us proof that it went towards serving people in need. The city said at one point it did have that information. In an email last August, a city administrator emailed former Assembly Chair Suzanne LaFrance announcing, Revive Alaska has been compliant with all the reporting since receiving ARPA funds. Revive has provided their food pantry resources, such as details of who is being served, what items are available, and how often they purchase goods for their pantry. The email also states, Revive submitted all their quarterly reports and notified our contractor with documentation when funds were matched. But that wasn't verified by the grants contractor. The city contracted with Ken Miller's company, Denali FSP, to manage the ARPA grants. In his email from February of this year, Miller states, I have not followed up with proof of match due to nature of federal investigations. Nevertheless, last July, Wonkadu assured the assembly, we have raised the matching fundraising commitments exceeding 750,000 in value. Since Revive has not provided us any documentation, Alaska's news source also began requesting that information from the city beginning last November. Despite multiple public records requests, and four strongly worded letters from our attorneys, we still haven't received that information. Here's what we do know. According to Revive's grant contract, it's required to use the money to open a food pantry by the end of this year. Revive says it will build this multi-million dollar facility in South Anchorage, which it calls the Life Center. The money for that project is designated for that project, and that project is gonna be finished by the end of December 2023 and we're working on it to finish it at that time. So far, an Anchorage Municipal website that tracks building permits shows one was pulled this month to possibly begin construction on the Life Center. But recent visits to the location show no signs of construction activity. This is what Wonkadu had to say about it last November. But by spring next year, we're gonna kick off breaking ground on the project for the Life Center for which the 750,000 was given to us. So Revive essentially has a deadline to meet. They have to build a food pantry by the end of this year, and they contend it will be built in South Anchorage. They also sold their church earlier this month. No word on whether they'll reopen their food pantry, though, somewhere else. We should also tell you that Revive paid their back taxes on one of their vacant properties that was headed into foreclosure. We tried contacting Wonkadu for comment, but were unsuccessful.